Let's go to the Great Barrier Reef Foundation. Anna Marsden, the managing director, has now written to all MPs. I don't know whether you've got her email personally yet, but she is uh, welcoming all forms of scrutiny into that $440 million grant, including, if needs be, from the Auditor General. So they're, they're quite happy with all eyes on the, on the process behind this. Well, it, it's not all eyes. They've just signed an agreement that has a whole lot of confidentiality proceed, proceedings within it. A whole lot of confidentiality rules where some information, including how they do their fundraising, doesn't just kept, get, get kept confidential until the end of the agreement in 2024. Some of it gets kept confidential in perpetuity, forever. No end to the confidentiality dates in this agreement. So it's one thing to write a letter, it's another thing to sign a binding agreement with the government. Uh, this deal from beginning to end has been an inappropriate and dodgy use of taxpayers' money. And the foundation, you know, it's a, it's a small private foundation, it has played a, a small but effective role, there's some particular projects they've done which have been worthwhile. They should not be the gatekeeper for every piece of work within the Great Barrier Reef, including as a barrier between government-funded scientists and taxpayers' money. Every question that gets asked about this, the more the government answers them, the more dodgy the whole process becomes. And yet we had the uh, Energy Minister, Josh Frydenberg, telling Barry Cassidy on Insiders yesterday that in his view there was nothing unusual about the uh, decision behind, decision-making process behind handing out this money and that uh, it followed all fel formal grant guidelines. Well, let's just piece together the logic of that. First of all, when they were offered half a billion dollars, the, the small private foundation hadn't asked for it. They didn't at that point have the capacity to manage that sort of money. A scientist at the CSIRO will have to go to the foundation to get taxpayers' money, not to the government. All the normal methods by which you have continuous scrutiny uh, of work that's done by departments and direct ministerial involvement, gone. All the administration fees add on. So if, for example, some of this work is subcontracted out, to other agencies, the Great Barrier Reef Foundation, this small private foundation, will still be taking admin fees for itself. $44 million goes straight to the foundation, gets nowhere near the reef. Small private foundation that's entire turnover had been nothing like that, now gets $44 million of taxpayers' money directly for itself.